hear me out. I am unprepared for this. Now, I'm going to say this. Non-binary and trans are different. Now, hear me out. Please, hear, hear me out, please. The only thing that's semi-similar is the fact that they don't identify with a gender, but there's a difference here. Non-binary doesn't identify with either. Trans people don't identify with the sex or whatever gender, you know, you're born, you're born, you're usually born as, you know, you know, someone, your bo- doctor's like, oh, you're, you're boy. Oh, nope, I don't like that. I'm going to transition, etc. cetera. Sure, that's shorthand. We're not, we're not going to delve into it. But basically, they're, they're not the same. Now, I want to ignore all the people who are non-binary and trans because that is great territory it is a mess and i don't want to touch it so let's just skip over it now moving on to non-binary as a whole wait actually before we jump on i want to i want to address this bisexual and pansexual are basically the same and you want to know why because liking somebody for their personality isn't a sexuality it's not that has nothing to do with anything right now even as a straight person i like people for their personality that has nothing to do with me wanting to fuck them that's just something that you can't help that basically it's just bisexual but a different name and you put a different definition to make it sound different but it's literally just the same thing because personality doesn't affect anything any anyways i'm i'm not even joking like look at sexuality now look at personality you did look how many of you are straight or gay or, or or bi or whatever and like a person for their personality you're not pansexual you're just a person who likes people for their personality so now let's move on to non-binary as i've stated they them is the pronoun they use now I know what a lot of people are thinking. Why why is it they then? And I can't tell you because I I do. There are moments where it doesn't work and you have to run down a list of sentences. I actually did run down a list of sentences. You know, which one works with they, them? Like, who are they? What about them? Do you know anything about them? You know, who, who are they? And, you know, I found a few mistakes. Not too egregious, but I think one of the things you need to address when they, them, is more like when you don't know somebody very well, you know, when you're talking about, you know, who are they? What do you know about them? You know, it's more, you know, it's a less evasive way of saying, can I know about this person fully? You know, like when you, let me say this, have you, do you have a family member you don't know? You ask, who who are they? And your parents will say, on. So, the first thing you can cross up the list is who are they gender wise you know most not not no, because non-binary people there are people who are non-binary who say well to make things easier i am non-binary female you know that means they are female non-binary people which is kind of obvious because most you know non-binary people do look who say they're non-binary female are usually look like they have done nothing to be anything else. They, they just straight up just female. And that's not me trying to be rude. I'm saying most people who are non-binary literally look like the gender that you would probably guess they were. And that's not me being rude. Most people you see who say they're non-binary trans end up in a category where they don't transition or don't even look like they even tried. And what I mean by tried is you know how a woman a, a woman tries to be a trans man and she doesn't have enough of the, of the money and stuff to you know transition you know what they do they look a little butch it's not a lot but it shows there is a amount of effort you know put in into something small and it, it kind of helps you know try like there's makeup videos to look more masculine there's videos to look more masculine videos to look more feminine and a lot of people do get upset because when you say you're trans and non why why I just said I wasn't gonna talk about non-binary trans. Fuck. 
we're just gonna do it anyway. I think a lot of people's an issue is, you know, there is no effort. You know, imagine if seeing somebody say, "I'm going to be nine to binary trans," and you meet up with them a year later, and all they did was nothing. They they didn't change. They didn't even put a little anything. They look the same. Now, I wasn't actually trying to address that. I was trying to address how you know most non-binary people just don't that they don't look like anything happened. It's just a it's just a word. At and I'm not trying to be rude. It's just more of oh um I'm not binary. That's about it. No, your looks don't change. You know, there's nothing to to make it feel like it kind of matters or anything. It's more like an acronym. Like LGBT is an acronym for lesbian, gay, bisexual, trans. Non-binary is just an acronym for I don't identify. I don't identify with a, a specific, you know, any gender at all. And that's not me trying to say they're any less of a member of the LGBT or anything. I'm saying. As a whole, it's less, you know, it works less because it's there, but it doesn't feel like it had an impact. And I see a lot of people say this because when you look at, you know, something like gay or trans, you know, the impact or at least some change or something that happens is, you know, a man or a woman, you know transitioning and looking completely different from how they look and you have stuff like gay you know the people they date are different you know you know you don't most people who are non-binary the only thing that would make them stand out is either if they were to actually transition or to date somebody of the opposite or same sex but most of them don't and that's where it gets tricky to address you know non-binary and I don't mean it's hard. It's just more complicated because what makes them stand out from any other binary sex other than saying you don't identify as it? And it really is, you know, a thing we need to address because everybody just says it's valid. But then we end up in a situation where what exactly counts as non-binary because just like transgender, non-binary is something you can do and actually get away with. Because, and I'm not saying people will abuse non-binary. I'm saying people could. And if they were, the first thing they would do is just see they're not binary. And, and this is something a lot of celebrities do, even though, you know, and I hear this a lot, you know, celebrities are trenders. You know, they do it. And I think, you know, non-binary would be something simple because, think about it for one minute. If you're non-binary, all you have to do is say it because it's a lot more different and it's a lot easier to notice somebody is pretending to, you know, be non-binary than somebody pretending to be trans because being trans takes at least a year to show any signs change or sometimes it takes two years to, you know, go through all the clinics where non-binary is basically saying you're non-binary and that's not bad i actually think it's one of the more the more accessibly easy ones out of like all the lgbt because saying you're non-binary is probably a lot easier than saying you're gay especially with people who live in a religious household or trans where people you know have an expectation of their child to live out their gender and that's kind of like that's kind of a whole thing for parents. Like, oh, my, my, my boy, he's going to live a boy his whole life. And then you find out he's a girl and they feel, you know, an utter shame because my child, I thought they were going to be this and they were this. Now with non-binary, nothing feels like it changes. Not that I can address. Now, I may have gone up to a tangent because I actually don't know what to say. I do know that non-binary people are valid because just like trans people they get a lot of flack for being kind of different i think one of the big problems is pronouns because a lot of people think gender neutral is that which i can if i were to look at it without knowing even less than i if i had less knowledge than i already did on non-binary i would be like this is just so dumb because 
not how many people use they them when you get to know somebody and how many use they them when you don't know somebody and you know it's only when you have a friend who doesn't know anything who doesn't know anything about the person and asks is who are they what do you know about them usually it's a question more than an actual thing used in sentences when you address a person you know and it's not bad per se but it doesn't flow nice with the human language for me specifically for other people the the dumb ones uh they basically think it's going to destroy the english language it would be very it would lessen some things kind of but it wouldn't destroy the english language i think gender neutral language if we're talking about all language and we're not talking about like oh i'm just going oh if you see this person just call them they or them because that's at least you know more acceptable than everybody happen to use it like oh if i see someone walking down the street i'm just gonna go he or she because that's an assumption that everybody makes and you know most non-binary people say they're male or female so yes so my assumption what is usually going to be correct because most people who hear they them usually know this by now especially with lots of other people you can't get too mad over one specific you know a person saying a pronoun by accident because they're and, and we're talking about specifically with strangers it's different when you know somebody and they or they're a friend with your friends and you continue to meet them where they specifically use wrong pronouns because that is more rude than anything because you know you're hanging out with that person where if you just meet someone on the street and they're like oh thank you miss and you're actually a boy or non-binary you know as long as you don't actually get upset i think you've basically summed up what it means to be anybody who is not who is either not binary or trans you know going places like oh people aren't gonna you know address you properly like that's a whole thing um that's basically one of the big key factors is don't expect people to address you in a nice specific you know they them they're, they're probably going to if you probably meet them they're probably not going to say it now that's what most people are going to say uh i think if somebody addresses you know they or them it's not because they addressed you as pronouns it's just because they don't know who you are and most people who know who a person is usually use names because it's so much easier than actually using pronouns. Because, yeah, I know a lot of people. And I'll, I'll go, oh, she's a really nice person. But I might say, oh, Jane, she's a really nice person. Or, oh, that's Jane. They're a really nice person. You know, you, you use less words the more you know about a person. Which is such a weird concept. But it's something that happens where non-binary actually equals more words for a person but it doesn't specifically work entirely because you know the person after a certain point unless it's strangers on the street i think i summed up my video poorly uh i think it's actually as good as any other video that's come out because i don't think anybody who's done a video on non-binary has done them right i mean contra points and blair white do not help you know they themselves didn't try and remain calm or collective or even dry but i can tell you i don't even know what i'm talking about but i feel like i've accomplished more than what they've said in like five of their videos so thank you uh i i'll feel free to elaborate in the comment section like rip me apart if i'm really that bad like i i don't even know what i did i just do what you think is best i am listening i read all your comments and everything uh, subscribe so you can you know help me make more content i am just the neutral boy i am a child please help me help you make the world a better place because you know in a society where i can't eat pizza it's not a society i want pizza is for everyone that, I don't even know what I'm saying. Just, that's it.